What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Doom Vlogs. And today I want to talk about my personal favorite character from this book, Gertie Halleck himself. And spoiler alert, if you haven't read the Doom books or if you haven't made it to book two more deep, and like I said before, I'm going to go into certain details where if you don't want to get spoiled on this one and if you want to read the books for yourself, then please be sure to skip this video. So for those of you that don't know, Gurney Halleck was basically the weapons masters of House Atreides. And this man hates House Harkonnen for good reason. See, for over a decade, Gurney and his family were once enslaved by the House Harkonnen on their home planet known as Gaiety Prime. Again, let me know if I butchered it. I, I suck at trying to pronounce these names. But it was on this planet that he pretty much came face to face with Beast Raban. And let me go ahead and tell you, even in his prime, Gurney was a badass because right when he saw Raban for the very first time, he not only looked him dead in the eyes, even when he was told not to by his slavers, but apparently he spit in the dude's face. Wasn't taking any shit from him. But Raban wasn't happy about that and he pretty much cracked a whip across Gurney's face. Which is why he has that scar for the remainder of his life. And man, you gotta give the movie some credit for putting some attention to detail on it. But later on in life, Gurney would then be recruited by Duke Leto Atreides as the weapons master of the House Atreides. And is also one of many teachers to his son, Paul Atreides. Which you can see in the book as well as in the movie, Paul and Gurney have a really close relationship. And he was one of the many father figures in Paul's life growing up on the planet Caladan. Paul would even give him the nickname Gurney the Valorous. But you guys know the story. The Duke and his family would then be transported to Arrakis, to which they'd be tasked with the spice mining operation that would lead to a siege on House Atreides, done at the hands of Dr. Yue, which was all orchestrated by the Baron. Gurney and the other servants of House Atreides managed to survive the attack and decided to join up with a group of smugglers. And after the meeting with the leader Stavon Tuek, Gurney learns that the Duke is dead. Thufir was captured, and Lady Jessica, who at the time was suspected of being the traitor, had died while escaping the Harkonnens into a sandstorm. But the next part, I'm not gonna lie, it kind of gripped at my heartstrings a little bit. When Gurney asked if Paul was still alive, there was a knot in his throat that pretty much means that he was extremely worried. To which the Bond replied that the last time Paul was seen was with his mother. And since it was believed that Lady Jessica died in a sandstorm, it was also believed that Paul might have perished alongside with her. And it was at this moment that I felt really, really bad for Gurney. This man has lost the dude that he pledged his life to. The friends he served with and the young pup that he's mentored and loved like a son over the years. And the only thing that he has left that keeps him going is the hatred for Beast Raban and the rest of the House Harkonnen. So instead of taking that opportunity to escape Arrakis, Gurney decided to stay with the smugglers and stay on the planet for just a little bit longer until he gets some well-deserved payback on Raban. And I'm going to be real, even though that he's barely in the book all that much, Gurney is a very interesting character. And seeing that moment of despair, believing Paul to be dead, was just... Wow. It doesn't go into much detail, but you can actually feel the emotion off the pages. But just like Gurney says, mood is for cattle and lovemaking. You fight when the necessity arises, no matter the mood. And just like his name suggests, Gurney the Valorous will always keep up the good fight. So anyway, guys, what do you think about Gurney? Is he also your favorite character? And if not, who is y'all favorite character from Dune? Or better yet, which character do you resonate most from Dune and why? Whatever your thoughts, comment down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh, and before I go, one of my favorite actors of all time, Patrick Stewart, actually played Gurney Halleck in the David Lynch Dune movie. It's just a perfect combination. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys, and I'll see you on the next Dune vlog.